Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to prove this identity here. And so in order to do this, what I'm going to do is we'll just put proof up here. And I'm going to copy down the left hand side because I'm going to take the left hand side because it's normally easier to reduce multiple angles down to single angles here. So we've got a double angle going down to a single angle. And also the, we've got a couple of terms on this side so reducing it to one term generally is easier. So we'll start then just by putting the proof and copying it down then as cosec of 2x plus cot of 2x. You could write LHS for the left hand side, it's up to you. Now, one thing I'm not happy about with this question is that it says equals here, and really it's not an equation, it's an identity. So I'm going to change this to an identical sign, okay? Now, we've got to reduce this down to cot x, one term, and cot x is the same as cos x divided by sin x. So I'm going to really want to try and get these functions in terms of cosines and sines. And so that gives me a clue here because cosec 2x, okay, even though it's 1 divided by tan 2x, I see as just 1 divided by sine 2x. And I can work with that, okay, with my double angles later on. Now, as for cot 2x, that's the same as 1 over tan 2x, but I want to get cosines and sines, so I'm going to change that to cosine of 2x divided by sine of 2x. And that's quite nice because both these terms share a common denominator of sine 2x. So I can create one term straight away by putting that all over sine 2x. And on the top here, we're going to have 1 plus cos 2x. So that's looking good. We've got our one term here, and we need one term anyway at the end. Now, on the top here, we've got the 1. But for cos 2x, I'm going to get the idea that I want cot x, which is cos x over sin x. So I really would like a cos x on the top here. And cosine of 2x is the same as 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. And can you see that the 1s will cancel, just leaving me with one term on the top there. And this is all going to be divided by sine 2x, which we should be familiar with, is 2 sine x cosine of x. Okay? And so if we expand the brackets, we're going to have 1 minus 1, so that's 0, and it's just going to leave me with 2 cosine squared x on the top, and that is divided by 2 sine x cosine x on the bottom. And we can cancel out common factors. The 2s are common factors, so they can go, and the cosine x here is a common factor. It's going to cancel in there. And we're left with cosine x over sine x, in other words, cotangent or cotex for short. And that proves what we had to show.